What a great time to talk about TCP IP protocol with ESP8266. The question is, why ESP8266 supports full stack of TCP IP protocol? The answer is simple. TCP IP protocol is everywhere. In any network, TCP IP means reliable communication between any devices. TCP IP protocol is used for communication between two nodes or devices in the any network, for example, in your home, in your office, also the internet is a kind of network. In the network, any node, which can be probably your computer or your ESP8266 or any device, supports TCP IP protocol can talk between each other. TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol and IP is an internet protocol. IP responsible for sending data between nodes in the network. TCP responsible for this data will be transported in secure or not. In other words, it controls data transportation. TCP IP is a point-to-point -point communication which means you will see an a minute after. TCP IP responds to a specific port number. Example, HTTP is a 80, SSH 22, Telnet is 23. We will see some example now to understand what is TCP IP protocol with ESP8266 of course. For this, we need simple configuration like this. As it's seen, my computer and the ESP8266 connected to the, my Wi-Fi router, home router actually, via, via wirelessly. Also for debugging and serial monitor, ESP8266 connected to my computer via USB cable. To understand the TCP IP communication, we will use PuTTY software. PuTTY is a terminal emulator. It's a free open source serial console and network file transfer application. It is really good. I will give you the link where you can find the PuTTY simply. The code will be available in my website. You can find the link below the video. I will upload the code to my ESP8266. After uploading, open a serial monitor, which ESP8266 gives a IP address. Copy the IP address. Now, from here, the connection type, choose row and paste here IP address. Then I will give some port number which is this one. You can give any port number to test. Copy this and paste here. Now let's see what happened. Now open the connection. Simply it opens. When you type anything here and push the send button, it is seen what you type here, it goes here. Let's try again. You can try this with any computer, as long as this computer is connected to the same network. Also you can type here and hit an enter, you can see what you type there, it simply writes here. You can try any port number, for example, 55555. Let's double the code and we should close it because as I said it's a point to point communication. You cannot talk at the same time much more than an N2 uh, node for example. Close it, open the new party configuration. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, it's done. It's connected to my router. Copy the IP address. Its connection type should be row. Port number is 5555. Open the communication. Now it's open. There is no problem. Connect anything. Sorry, type anything. Is it seen? What you write there is here. For example, something like string dot com it's okay now 
I will show you some magic now. As I said, TCP IP can respond to a specific port number. And as I said before, the HTTP port number is 80. HTTP means Hypertext Terminal Protocol, as I think if I'm not sure, but it's something like this. To try our new example, change the port number to 80. Now upload this one and open a Google Chrome, something like this. When it uploads, we will wait again. Okay, com5 is this IP address is again the same. Now, this magic, actually this hack, is work for just only Google Chrome. I didn't try for other uh, web browsers. I paste the IP address here. When it connects, Google sends this, Google Chrome actually sent this information to me. Now, see whatever now. First, you have to type here and HTML. It's the start of the HTML tag, simply. Send it and now type anything. Then click the send and see the magic now. What you type here directly goes to this IP address to the this web browser this is really good connect um, my ESP8266 of course type anything whatever you want this is same. also TCP IP from TCP IP ESP8266 can send to the web browser some HTML text for example this is a vector text this you can find anything here some shapes like this copy this one and paste here and click the send now it sends not the string actually it's sends the strings but web browser understand this strings means a circle simply and send again copy send copy 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 paste 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 then send a few of them it is simple also for example, for rectangle, you copy the code, then paste here, open this link again, send, and as you see, the rectangle is here, and copy much more rectangle, simply, it's right there, not as a string, as a HTML tag, which means a rectangle, for example, or circle. And try the also other shapes or any other HTML tag. It's up to you. As I said before, you can try this example with other configuration as long as, long as this computer connects to the same network with ESP8266. All example code and some useful information will be available in my website. You can find the link below the video. I hope. You enjoyed the tutorial. See you the next ones.